So let's solve this question. This has been asked in gate 2015. I'll read it out for you first. Given a hash table T with 25 slots. 25 slots means the hash table is of size 25. So at a time it can accommodate 25 elements. That store 2000 elements. Now you might be wondering that it has 25 slots. So how can it store 2000 elements? It's not at the same time. It means that this table T will be able to accommodate 2000 elements, 2000 different elements, but not at the same time. At one point of time, it will be able to accommodate only 25 elements. The load factor denoted by alpha for T is blank. So first we need to understand what do you mean by the load factor? Remember, there is a specific formula for this, for load factor. Load factor is given by the total number of elements. The total number of elements, often denoted by small n, divided by the capacity of hash table and that is often denoted by m. Now if we substitute the values in this formula, we will get 2000 divided by 25 which will come to be around, not around, which will come to be exactly 80. Fine, so this is the answer. The answer is 80. The load factor for this distribution is 80. But what does this load factor signify? The load factor, remember, the load factor of a hash table tells us the average distribution of elements across the hash table. That means, what does a hash table actually do? The hash table, it takes elements from this universal set and let's say this is your hash table T and it has a number of slots. So what it does is, it will take elements from the universal set and map it to one of the locations in the hash table and that will depend on some hash function, right? That will depend on some hash function H on a key K. So this is my key. This is my key K. Now if I apply the hash function on this key value, it will map to a particular slot in the hash table. The load factor defines the average distribution of these elements of the universal set in the hash table. So here a value of 80 means in the ideal case or if my hash function not in the ideal case, I would rather say if my hash function is uniform, then it will allocate 80 elements to each slot. That means, let's say elements starting from starting from 0 to 79 will get slot number 0. Similarly, elements from 80 to 159 will get slot number 1 and so on. This would be the case if my hash function is uniform and why am I taking 80 elements of it at a time because my load factor has come to be 8. So this is this is how you would interpret the load factor for a hash table. I hope this helps. Thank you.